Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Suntac VLT's earning conference call for Q3 FY23. We have with us today Mr. Kamal Khaitan, the Chairman and Managing Director of the company and Mr. Prashant Chaube, the Chief Financial Officer. Please note that this call will be for 30 minutes and with the duration of this conference call, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode. This conference is being recorded and the transcript for the same may be put up on the website of the company. After the management's discussion, there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions. There is a Q&A session. We request to restrict questions to two per participant. Should you need assistance during this conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star than zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. Before I hand the conference over to the management, I would like to remind you that certain statements made during the course of this call may not be based on historical information or facts and may be forward-looking statements, including those related to business statements, plans, and strategy of the company, its future financial condition, and growth prospects. These forward-looking statements are based on the expectations and projections and may involve a number of risks and uncertainties and other factors that could cause actual results, opportunities, and growth, and growth potential to differ materially, and those suggested by such statements. I now will turn the conference over to Mr. Khaitan, the Chairman and Managing Director of the company. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Thank you for joining Suntech Reality third quarter and nine months earning call for the financial year 2023. Hope each one of you and your families are safe and healthy. In the first nine months of 2023, we have achieved robust growth in both pre-sales and collections. This continued strong operational performance has enabled us to generate close to rupees 311 crore of operating cash flow surplus which further makes the balance sheet more stronger, taking the negligible net debt ratio from 0.19 in FI22 to 0.14 in nine months of FI23. On the cumulative basis, since FI21, we have generated close to rupees 830 crore of operating cash flow surplus. All our existing growth engines namely Suntech City at Gurigaon West, Suntech World Nike at Naigao, and Suntech Beach Residences at Wasai West are throwing positive cash flows on sustained basis. We have been felicitated by HIFC, the World Bank Group company, with Edge Green Building pre-certification for our six ongoing projects, four residential and two commercial. Our endeavor is ensuring that the company's projects are designed sustainably as next generation buildings. Keep the environment well-being at the center of its mission. I would again now like to reiterate that in the past three years, we have acquired 25.5 million square feet across micro market of MMR with a gross development value of rupees 20,000 crore. And this is our company's best ever performance. Our endeavor is to maintain this momentum going forward. I'm very proud of the team that we have built at Suntech in the last 15 years, and we are growing and strengthening it further. I would now uh, hand over the call to our CFO, Mr. Prashant Chaube, for his comments. Uh, thereafter, I would be happy to answer your questions, if any. Over to you, Prashant. Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone, and thank you once again for joining us today and taking out your valuable time for this conference call. The financial and operational numbers have already been published on the stock exchanges. I believe all of you must have gone through the same. Now I would like to highlight the key financial and business performance numbers. Our pre-sales grew by 12% year-on-year in quarter three of FY23 
to rupees 396 crore compared to rupees 352 crore in quarter 3 of fy22 collections grew by 13% year on year to rupees 304 crore in quarter 3 of fy23 compared to rupees 270 crore in quarter 3 of fy22 for the 9 months similarly the pre sales grew by 33% and the collections grew by 42% respectively with respect to the financial highlights we have reported a consolidated revenue of rupees 314 crores in the 9 months of fy23 and our operating cash flow surplus stands at rupees 311 crores for 9 months of fy23 we can now open the forum for questions from the participants thank you very much thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touch tone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and two participants are requested to use handset while asking a question requesting all the participants to restrict to two questions per participant The first question is from the line of Adidas Chetapade from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, main question is, sir, could you just now give us on what is the upcoming launch pipeline for the next six uh, to twelve months, and therefore, what are the sort of sales targets in terms of overall sales you're looking at over the next couple of years? and uh, some updates on where the approvals at what stage are we at uh, what stage are we in the different projects thank you so uh, adidas uh, as far as the sales numbers uh, i think prashant will give you and the update on the um, uh, coming to the update on the approvals i'll 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 get on uh, good evening adidas So, Adil, uh, as uh, in the first nine months of FY23, as you are aware, we have done a year-on-year growth of 33%. On a compounded annual growth rate basis, for since FY18 till FY22, we have delivered a pre-sales growth of 22%. So, going forward, our target is to deliver uh, pre-sales growth of around 20 to 30% on a compounded annual basis. so that is the target of the company which it wants to achieve going forward in the coming years uh, in terms of launch pipeline adidev as you are aware uh, we have acquired 25.5 million square feet in the last 3 years which has a gross development value of 20000 crores so these projects include projects in uh, borivali west mira road kalyan vasai so all these projects are going to be launched in the uh, out of this vasai we have already launched in fy20 in fy23 and in the coming financial year in fy24 our endeavor is to launch uh, nila road and kalyan project so uh, abhijit uh, obviously before march 23 uh we are looking to launch uh, at least one project out of these two project kalyan and uh, uh, uh kalyan or uh, mira road at least one project we are quite confident and we'll do that because the approvals of both the projects are at very advanced stage uh we are trying obviously both the project but it will be too ambitious to say that uh, both the projects will be launched before 31st march uh, but at least one for sure plus we are doing a new activation launch of a new tower uh, in vasai west also uh, so these two are the big launches one coming from mostly mira road or kalyan and the other one the activation of new towers uh, in vasai west okay sir thank you and all the best thank you thank you thank you next question is from the line of harshvardhan agarwal from idf asset management please go ahead Hi, sir. Uh, trust you all are doing well. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, just wanted to understand. Uh, last quarter, we said that uh, we'll be achieving an 1800 crores of pre-sales this quarter, this year, this financial year. Uh, looking at the run rate that we have currently, we seem to be falling short. So, how should we look at it? So, Ashwath, then, uh, if you see a track record from last two to three years or whatever. the q1 has been better than the q2 and the uh, sorry q2 has been better than q1 and q3 is better than q2 and q4 is better than q3 so 
So Q4, the, which is the best quarter, for, always has been for Suntech. I think we are waiting for that Q4 quarter. Uh, we are very confident. If not 1800, we'll be very close to 1800. Uh, that's, that's because we are banking on at least one launch out of this Mira Road launch or the Kalyan launch before the March 31st. Okay, so sir, if we, if, we, if I just want to look at the numbers of the 1800 crores, we are currently at more or less we have done 1100 crores already. So what we need is 700 crores. So what is our expectation that this new project will contribute as to what percentage of this remaining 700 crores? So we are looking at at least uh, 300, 300, approximately around 350 crores coming from there. Got it, got it, sure. And so one last question is uh, from a PPT, uh, specifically slide number 29. So if I were to look, compare the slides from Tokyo PPT versus 3Q PPT, absolutely nothing has changed in terms of numbers. So is it fair to assume that uh, during this quarter there was no in, uh, launch per se that was done within the existing projects also? So, uh, 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 Harsh, uh, Prashant, this side. So, yeah. from the existing projects, as you are aware, last time what we had communicated is that we had already launched two projects, that is Suntech One World and Suntech uh, City Fourth Avenue. The higher floors of Suntech City Fourth Avenue was launched in the third quarter, and Suntech One World uh, uh, new launch, new activation was done in the third in the third quarter, in the quarter gone by. So, these projects were already launched. And with new approvals, we launched new phases of these projects which were already launched. So that's why the numbers have not changed. Oh, okay, so so basically the way, way we should look at it is it's already launched column that we have. It is when we when we put a number there, it's it's for the entire project that we put up. Correct, correct. That, like for example, the entire Suntech One World is there, entire entire Suntech City Fourth Avenue is there. Oh, okay, okay, and that's why although although we we are achieving some sales number, but it's not increasing the launch number per se. Correct, Harsh. Correct. Got it. And, and sir, just one last thing regarding our uh, pre-sales target for FI24. So what, what target are, do we have for say 24 So, uh, Harsh, uh, as we said that, Prashant already said that we are looking at growth of 20 to 30%. So on a conservative side, we can assume to, uh, from Q, uh, to FI23, that FI24 will be at least more by 20 to 30 uh, percent on our pre-sales number. Okay, so so the just if I, if I were to quickly do the number that comes comes to somewhere around 23, 2400 crores. So that's yes. that's the number that we are talking. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Whatever that number is, I think we are pretty confident because the kind of acquisitions we have done, I think Harsh, you will appreciate. Obviously, the approvals have to come. I think we are turning around the projects. Very, uh, we are trying our best to get the. We are putting pressures on our landlords because uh, the approvals. We put the obligation of getting the approvals on the landlords. Uh, that is what we are doing, and I think uh, if you look at Vasai, we turned around very fast. Again, Mira Road, if we can launch it before 31st March, I think it will be a record time, like in less than a year uh, after acquisitions, we have uh, turned around the project and launched it as well. So I think we are pretty confident that 20-30% uh, growth for the next year should be very comfortable. Right. And so, so just if I can slip in one last question, is again, uh, this is regarding a Borivali project. Uh, in last quarter, we had said that we are looking to launch Borivali, Kalyan and Mira Road, maybe in the next four or five months. So, uh, but right now it's at 23, 24, we are looking to launch Mira Road and Kalyan. So is it that our Borivali project is moving to say probably a 25 launch? So, so last time also we said that we'll try to launch at least one or two projects minimum in this financial year. So out of which I think Vasai we already launched. And now we are uh, out of the three projects, Borivali, uh, Kalyan and Mira Road. If you ask me the way it will go, first two launches will be either Mira Road and Kalyan or Kalyan or uh, first Kalyan and second Mira Road or Mira Road. The way the approvals are coming and then thereafter we can look at Borivali project. Thank you. A request to all the participants, please restrict to two questions per participant. Next question is from the line of Pratesh Said from Motilal Aswal. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, just on uh, you know the launches, uh, you know I had I also had a similar question on Bully Bully, but 
Uh, any update on the pen Kokoli project uh, launch? Uh, uh, you know, uh, we had again signed that uh, land parcel uh, quite some time back. Uh, so, any update if you can provide? And just again reiterating, reiterating on the previous question. So, Borivali will can still happen in FI24 or is it FI25 uh, thing? So, Pritesh, uh, first I'll answer for your Borivali project. Borivali project, I would like to uh, launch it maybe yesterday because we all know that's a great land parcel. Uh, it's, a, it's, I think, one of the most, uh, best land parcel one can get it in Borivali West. But unfortunately, approvals are not in our hands. And again, uh, even if we are trying our best, uh, although the approvals, uh, is the obligation of the landlord and obviously he is also looking to monetize it ASAP. Uh, but we are helping him and we are trying our best to get uh, the approvals as early as possible. Uh, definitely we are not looking at FI23. Uh, we should be looking as early as possible. Obviously we will try to launch it in FI24. Okay, and on Ten Kopoli? So Penkopoli is, I think, it's a plotted development and a, uh, some some villas development. I think we are, we are waiting for again there also some small approvals. That's not a big project in terms of gross developer value. If you look at it, I think we we, we should be we are working on it. Uh, I think we sh once we get some clarity, I would like to comment on it. Sure, sure. And uh, just lastly, again on uh, launches, uh, uh, any phase launches that you're planning in Naigao uh, or Goregaon in FY24? Obviously, yes. So on, in all the projects, uh, which are the existing projects, like let's say in Suntec City, uh, we will be looking at some uh, more inventory to be launched uh, in uh, Suntec City, Goregaon West. Then coming to Naigaon, again, we will be launching some few more towers of Suntec One World. There are two, three towers more which are not being launched. And plus, there will be a second phase of Suntec Max World, which is uh, as big as Suntec Max World first phase. So it is as good as the, again, a, a big uh, launch of more than 2,000, 2,500 apartments that we are looking at. Plus, obviously, if we launch Mira Road this year, then we will be launching Kalyan next year. So there are quite a, a big pipeline uh, for the next year, FI24. So I think that's how it is. So in next 12, 15 months, uh, what is the you know uh, sales value that we are probably looking at launching uh, that could probably give us a clarity on uh, you know what sort of uh, you know uh, pre sales uh, be able to clock. Uh, so just on you know uh, the overall sales potential of the launches that you are planning. So Pritesh, uh, 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 project to project uh, phase wise launches, I think we'll have to then calculate how much uh, exact value. If uh, again Prashant can give you a rough idea, uh, we are looking at Prashant can give the numbers. So hi Pritesh, Prashant this right. So, Pritesh, if you go through slide number 29 up to FY24, the target of the company, the goal of the company is to launch close to 7.5 million square feet. That is the goal. And if we are able to achieve 80-90% uh, uh, of that, we will be easily uh, achieving our previous target of 20 to 30% growth. Thank you. Pritesh, I'll request to come back in the queue. I request to all the participants, please restrict to two questions. The next question is from the line of Kunal Lakhan from CLSA India. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, uh, good evening. Uh, my question was again on the slide 29. So uh, our 20 to 30 percent growth uh, outlook for 24, uh, we, can it happen without, say, Borivli not getting launched or it is contingent upon Borivli getting launched in FY24? And also I want to understand what is there in others uh, in, in others of 1 million square feet, uh, which projects are there for, for FY24? So, so we definitely, when we are talking about uh, 2400, 2300, whatever, that 20, 30 percent growth, uh, we are definitely not considering uh, Burivali into it. If that happens, we will be much about uh, that, uh, the growth of 20, 25, 30 percent. In fact, we will be crossing more than 30 percent growth. So conservatively, if you look, we have not even taken uh, Borivali into 
the next next year started but our endeavor is definitely to get the approval for that as well and try to launch as much as possible and in other projects like there are uh, some there are like projects like pain kapoli some commercial small small within the within the existing land parcel some retail so all those put together is uh, the uh, other others nefensi road is not included in others i'm assuming Oh, uh, no, not at all. Not it, it, neither Nepensi Road is included, nor uh, our Borivali uh, Borivali is included. So Borivali is included and, above, right? It's shown separately. So Borivali is included above, correct? Ah, uh, so not in the other. Okay, sorry, sorry. I thought it's uh, mentioned in uh, not not. Uh, it's mentioned separately. Yes, that's why. Sure. And Kamal ji, what's the status on Nepensi Road project? Uh, if you can highlight. so very uh, frankly uh, it will be very difficult to uh, comment the, that when at least uh, to launch in even fi 24 it looks to be very frank i want to be very straight uh, it looks difficult we can target it maybe in fi 25 sure thank you i'll come back in the queue thank you thank you kunal thank you Next question is from the line of Rishit Shah from Noama Wealth. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Uh, so I'm relatively new to the company, so pardon my ignorance. Just a couple of questions. So first on the bookkeeping side. Uh, so in terms of area, I mean, can you just uh, highlight how much area that uh, bookings that we have received in in Q3 as well as the corresponding quarter in the last year? so um, uh, uh, hi rishi uh, prashant desai in q3 fy23 we have uh, we have sold close to around uh, uh, 0.35 million square feet close to 3 and a half lakh square feet that is what we have sold okay okay and in quarter and uh, in quarter 3 of fy22 we have sold close to around 0.30 uh, million square feet that is 3 lakh square feet roughly okay got it and the last quarter would be last quarter last quarter was also close to around 3 lakh square feet finish it okay okay and uh, secondly on the cash flow so basically if we see the first half that uh, in the first half we have kind of uh, done a cash flow of say around 200 and sorry just one yeah 225 crores so, so that is our operating cash flow surplus and for the 9 months it received around 311 crores so from the quarterly run rate oh, well, in the first half we have seen a dip to around say 86 crores for this quarter q3 uh so is there any one off or any specific reason why is there a dip is there is a dip in the debt you mean to say no 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 operating cash flow no operating cash flow the uh, operating cash flow the uh, 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 what you have to understand is that uh, uh, when sir spoke about the uh, approvals that we right. have uh, you know we have applied for kalyan and mira road so okay. these approvals the payment has gone from suntech because the land owners we fund the land owners via loan mechanism which is interest bearing so this okay. money okay. this this money is going towards the payment of those so that also becomes part of your working capital changes it is not shown as a separate item as a capital expenditure okay. so that is why you will see that debt if you are if, if i may say so great so got it so those are my two questions thank you it is a kind of in fact treasury management for us because obviously when we are lending to the landlords it is uh, 14 15% or 16% and the cost of borrowing for santec is i think close to 9 in single digit hmm. got it got it thank you so much thank you next question is from the line of alpesh takkar from antique stock broking please go ahead Uh, thank you for taking my question, sir. Uh, my first question is on the BKC project. Right? So, what exactly is happening there? And uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, you know, luxury market uh, overall market has been going good. So, so are we seeing any traction there, or what is the challenge with that project? If I'm not wrong, we there is no sales for last couple of spots. Right? So, just want to uh, have your view on that project. And what is the monetization plan being ahead? 
sorry, there is a uh, disturbance, I think, at your background. Uh, I think, uh, can you repeat the yes, question? Sorry. Yeah, sure. So, so, my question is regarding the BKC project. Can you take it from some background where there is no noise in the background, please? Sure. So, so my uh, question is regarding the BKC project. So, what exactly is our monetization plan there? Because I see that there is a kind of slowdown in the monetization of that project. While the overall luxury market has been doing quite decent uh, for last you know, uh, one year. So, so just your thought on that project. So, uh, Altesh, obviously, uh, I, uh, your concern is uh, right, I think, to a certain extent, obviously, because uh, we have not been able to do uh, uh, not uh, much sales in the last few quarters about uh, in terms of BKC. But we are aggressively trying our best uh, to monetize uh, the project. Uh, there is, means we are trying the best way how we can monetize. I don't have a answer right now for that, that uh, how it will happen, when it will happen. But uh, yeah. we are trying our best. I can only say that much to you. Okay. So, so but are we seeing any, uh, uh, you know, uh, inquiries or the visitations like that is uh, tracking up or, you know, breaking of that sort? Like in last, uh, let's say, one, one or two quarters, like more uh, visitations or the inquiries about that project. So, any momentum there? So, Alpesh, I would say the inquiries have only increased and number of uh, uh, hot deals are quite uh, number, matlab, decent number which are there. We are... I don't want to commit anything till the time we conclude the deal, but you will see some action in this current quarter and next coming quarters. I can only say that. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take that as the last question. I now hand the conference over to the Chairman and Managing Director, Mr. Khaitan, for closing comments. Uh, Thank you all for taking out the time from your busy schedule today. In case if any of your queries have been left unanswered, uh, you can get in touch with me or my team. We look forward to your continued support. Thank you once again for joining us today, and please be safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of Suntech Realities, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.